If you really need a really big SUV, this car can be considered as one of the first contenders to buy. After all, the price for it in the secondary market is quite humane, and, as servicemen assure, there are relatively few complaints about reliability. According to their car preferences, Russians can conditionally be divided into three main groups. The former prefer European-made cars, mostly German. The latter recognize only the Japanese auto industry, but can potentially switch to the Koreans, who have been actively progressing technically lately. And still others are ardent supporters of the Americans, and with the capital letter, real American cars. It is certainly about 5 meters long, 2 meters wide, with multi-liter low-powered V6 or V8 and a mandatory automatic transmission, a spacious interior and a bunch of cup holders. The Ford Explorer is one of those. Among other things, it has exceptional maintainability. You can breathe a second life into motors and transmission at any specialized service, and inexpensively. In Russia, Explorer 4 generation was officially sold almost immediately after its premiere. Many new and used cars were driven by private traders. The SUV was produced only in a five-door body and is designed for five or seven people. The seven-seater version of the Ford Explorer came with three rows of seats. The design of the car is interesting, its body is mounted on a powerful frame and the wheel suspension is completely independent, which implies adequate handling on asphalt, plus an all-wheel drive transmission with a reduction gear. By the way, in our market there are rear-wheel drive versions, which were sometimes brought from the USA. Only petrol engines V6 4.0L, 213 horsepower, and V8 4.6L, 242 horsepower, were installed on the SUV. The basic version was equipped with a 5-speed manual or automatic transmission, and for the V8 version, only automatic transmission was provided. After the modernization of 2006, the flagship G8 began to produce 296 horsepower, and the machine acquired an additional 6th gear. Ford Explorer is huge not only outside, but also inside, but its interior is not off-road stylish and concise. True, the finishing materials are not the most expensive. The plastic is hard, which, in general, is typical for overseas cars. The middle row of seats consists of three separate chairs, each of which folds, and a pair of rear seats can be easily removed into the trunk, forming a flat floor with it. If both rows are folded, then the trunk volume will be an impressive 2,490 liters. For the Americans, is characterized by a rather generous equipment. Already in the basic version, the Explorer was equipped with ABS, front and side airbags, an onboard computer, full power accessories, air conditioning for the front and rear, alloy wheels and an automatic transmission, since 2006. Expensive versions boast leather trim and climate control, an electric sunroof, xenon headlights and a multimedia system with overhead DVD, remote control and wireless headphones. Like most American cars, the Ford Explorer is quite simple in design, hence its excellent maintainability and relative cheapness in maintenance and repair. Low-force large-volume engines have a very decent resource and often take 400,000 kilometers or more before overhaul. True, both motors have one feature. Before replacing the spark plugs, deep candle wells should be cleaned or blown with air, into which sand gets into when the candles are unscrewed. When installing new candles, be careful. The thread breaks easily, and you have to repair the cylinder head for about 13,000 to 17,000 rubles. After two or three Russian winters, the plastic tank of the radiator begins to leak. It is not supplied as a separate spare part, and the unit has to be replaced as an assembly for 7,800 rubles. After about 80,000 kilometers, the water pump may also leak, 3,700 rubles. Replacement work is estimated at about 3,000 rubles. From low-quality fuel, the check engine icon often lights up. Usually the reason is the misfire of candles, 250 rubles each which serve an average of 40,000 kilometers. High voltage wires, 1,500 to 2,500 rubles, also require attention. Their tips simply melt over time from the hot breathing of V-shaped motors. Further, the cause should be sought in faulty oxygen sensors, 3,400 rubles, and mass air flow, from 3,800 rubles. A long life chain works in the gas distribution mechanism, the service life of which is at least 200,000 kilometers. Much earlier than this period, it will be necessary to update the chain tensioner and damper, from 5,500 rubles. But the attachment belt complete with tension rollers can become unusable by 90,000 kilometers. In order to prevent, 
it is necessary to flush the injection system. On a specialized service, it costs from 1500 rubles. The transmission also requires constant attention. Careful attitude can extend the life of the machine up to 150,000 to 200,000 kilometers. But for this, every 50,000 kilometers, you should change the oil in the automatic transmission, of which there are almost 10 liters, 1,300 rubles per liter. In some services, it is recommended to replace it even more often, every 30,000 kilometers, and together with the filter. Otherwise, after 100,000 kilometers, the automatic transmission may require repairs, which will cost 50,000 rubles, or even more. Transmission. The all-wheel drive system has three modes, automatic, which connects the front wheels when the rear wheels slip, permanent all-wheel drive with traction distribution equally along the axis, and all-wheel drive mode with the reduction gear. Servicemen recall cases of failure of the transfer case and clutch. True, this happened after active off-road rides. According to statistics, after 100,000 kilometers, the drive shaft crosses, 3,300 rubles each, and the outboard bearing, 3,900 rubles, die, one after another. Suspension. In a fully independent suspension, stabilizer struts do not last long, 850 rubles each, and in steering, rod ends, 1,300 rubles each. Somewhere around 70,000 to 100,000 kilometers, the upper ball bearings and silent blocks of the front levers are enough, the replacement of which, complete with levers, will cost at least 10,000 rubles. Shock absorbers would stand about the same amount, 4,200 rubles each. And after 100,000 kilometers, prepare about 13,000 rubles. To update all four wheel bearings. Electrical equipment. On specimens brought from America, there is a weak headlight. Installing more powerful lamps does not change things, so some owners order Xenon. Optics from a dubious manufacturer slightly improves the light beam, but leads to frequent replacement of expensive light bulbs. Engines. Unpretentious, they work great on the 90-second gasoline, and if necessary, easily digest the 80th. However, such omnivorousness does not mean at all that the fuel can be of poor quality. Spark plugs will immediately respond to the circuit. More time is needed for oxygen sensors and catalysts, but their replacement is very expensive. In the front suspension with double wishbones, the struts and stabilizer bushings are considered consumables, on average, they are enough for 15,000 to 40,000 thousand. Due to weak silent blocks, by 80,000 kilometers, you have to update the upper arms, 2,800 rubles each. Ball joints serve a little longer, up to 100,000 kilometers. Transmission. Many owners of knocking and vibration when connecting the front wheels in automatic mode is a specific feature of the model. In order for the transmission to serve properly, it is advisable to check the condition of its main and loaded components and parts over each TO. Body. It successfully resists aggressive environments, but in Russian operating conditions, the air conditioner tubes in the rear of the cabin quickly corrode. Replacement, from 800 rubles. The windshield wiper mechanism sours. Complete disassembly and lubrication, from 2,000 rubles. Suspension. The rear suspension of the SUV is multi-link, problems in it arise mainly after the wear of the silent blocks of the levers. This happens closer to 150,000 kilometers stabilizer struts, 1,100 rubles each, have been changed twice by this time. Wheel bearings, 3,000 rubles each, and shock absorbers, 2,900 rubles each, are updated after hundreds.